So now let's talk about the pathogenesis in details. So for their pathogenesis, we know uh, for any uh, bacterial pathogenesis, there are sequential steps. Steps like adhesion of the bacteria with the host cell, then invasion, then uh, finally the damage of the host cell and escaping their host immunity. Now in this case, the invasiveness of this bacteria is due to adhesion. Obviously, the mechanism is provided here. This first step is the adhesion of uh, this bacteria with the host cell. So if this is the bacteria and this is the host cell, the so first step is this adhesion. So bacteria will come and adhere to the host cell via kind of receptor, uh, via kind of physical interaction. Then that will be endocytosed inside. So here we can see it is a kind of getting inside. It's a kind of getting. So let me change the color for the bacteria. Let's say the bacteria here is red in color. Let's say the bacteria is red. So here we can see the bacteria is getting in inside uh, the cell. Now once it is getting inside the cell, let us draw the cell. Here we go. This is the cell, a host cell inside where we are having a vesicle. Inside the vesicle we are having the bacteria. Now the formation of this vesicle is called the endosome, right? Because the, the vesicle is formed after the endocytosis, so we call them endosome, right? The endosome is formed. Now, this from this region, it will induce uh, either apoptosis of the cell, apoptosis, apoptosis of the cell, or or necrosis of the cell. So they are actually fiddling around with uh, the signaling pathway inside the host cell, and they will modify the pathway in such a way so that it will kill the host cell either via apoptosis or programmed cell death pathway or via tissue necrosis okay now the root of infection in this case is simply suppose this is the organism and it, it, it is finally coming into infected animal discharged with urine and then it will contaminate water or soil we have already seen all the steps let's see it again once water and soil is infected if a human is in contact with water and soil via a kind of wound in their skin they will get this bacteria in their bloodstream now after getting this bacteria in the bloodstream it will move and what it will cause is leptospirosis now the infections and disease symptoms we are going to see is called as leptospirosis right and from this leptospirosis condition uh, it is a kind of 30% fatal and 70% recoverable. So most of the time it is recovered, but sometimes it can be fatal and it can kill the individual. 